what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel thanks for stopping by so today i will be doing my own nails on my dominant hand using my non-dominant hand and this is what i started off with a sculpted base with um valentino's clear and those were the forms that i used i got them off of amazon this is the brush that I'm using, a Galore Kalinske brush size 12, which love this brush. Mm. And since these will be glitter nails, this is the glitter that I'm using. It's called Shattered, Shattered Glass from Acrylics, and this is like sort of what it looks like. You'll see it more once I start using it. And this is the monomer I'm using. It's Critics, and it's her advanced set monomer and I do love this stuff it works really well with all the acrylic um acrylic powders I've used it with and I haven't had any problems and yeah so I'm starting for some reason I just started on my ring finger which I normally start on my pinky finger or sometimes depending on if I'm doing different designs on the fingers and stuff, I'll choose a finger. But today I just decided to start on this particular finger. So I'm just picking up some beads, not like super big or anything because this is a clear with like cut mylar pieces and I want most of the mylar to um, come out. So I pick up like medium sized beads, place it on the nail it where I need to go and then if I want more just add a little bit more but I don't want to make it too thick because then the nail will be even thicker when I add the clear on top so I don't show myself doing all of my fingers I believe I stopped recording at after my middle finger but it's just the same application on all five of my fingers also just wanted to add that there is a tutorial for the nails on my left hand and i will leave that in the card so don't forget to click on that and check that out as well So this is what my nails look like after applying the glitter and oh my gosh you see how pretty that was oh I can't stop looking at these nails are so pretty 
So now I am going to go in with my clear, which is still the Valentino clear. And I'm just going to cap all the nails in clear. And again, I don't show all of my fingers. I think maybe like two or three. And y'all, here I go again. You know I'm like the queen of being out of frame. Sorry about that. So, um, but yes, when capping the, my fingers, I tend to start where the nail and the free edge, like around the apex area, but not exactly. So I do that. Then I go down towards the tip. Then I come back and do my apex. And then of course I'm looking at the nail and um, different angles to make sure I have enough product on top and making sure to keep my shape while doing this so the nail does not get super bulky. So this is what my nails look like after filing and shaping and, and also buffing. And now I'm going to add the bling and so I will be using Nail by Naya Bling Gel and the Zule's Bling Adhesive, some Swarovski crystals in different shapes and different size round flat backs and I'm using this wax pencil to help pick them up. So I won't be talking much during this part um, because each finger is different but I will say that this middle finger is going to have the same design as the ring finger on my left hand. I loved it so much that I decided to put it on this hand as well. I'm just using um, Crystal 8 AB color instead and then also on Ooh, excuse me on my index finger I was in the middle of doing that one but I couldn't get it right so I believe I stopped recording and then I kept going and so I didn't record part of that finger and also you'll probably notice that on my ring finger the design will be different than what I did in the video and also on my thumb as well and I did that because I didn't really like the designs I didn't I wanted them to be just slightly different so I changed them off camera and then but you'll see the finished look at the end of the video so I'm just going to let you watch this part I hope you enjoy and maybe you can get some ideas for when you are using bling as well. And also, this little tool I'm using is just a little um, 
like a, a needle or a stylus tool that I got that I was using for um, when I used to do like water marbles and stuff. So, and I've been having it for a long time, but sadly it got a little bent. And so, so I use this sometimes when I'm using the um, bling gel. So yeah, enjoy this part and I will be back. So I would also like to add that when I am using this bling gel, I place the crystals where I, I put the bling gel down first and then I place the crystals where I want them to be and I make sure that they are straight and then if there's like an excess amount of the gel, I take a one of my gel brushes and I... Um, smooth it out or like I drag it out so it's not just like in a blob and that way there's also a smooth surface for me to put down other crystals when I am after curing it and I also cure it for one minute in my light but if and oh I'm so tongue-tied okay and also sometimes I'll just give it a quick flash cure for about 10-15 seconds so that way I don't have to do the uh, full cure when I am fully done I will give it a full cure for the 60 seconds
so here we are getting close to the end of the video and this was the design I put on my thumbnail but again I didn't like it so I took it off and redid it off camera and once I was done with everything I went in with a top coat and I took I used a brush to help go around the crystals so I don't go on top of them and there were like a lot of small spaces so here's a video in some lower dimmer light so you can see the nails and all their gorgeousness and then there's one in regular lighting so you can see them in regular light so thank you for watching I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, peace out, y'all.